blood urea nitrogen or BUN. I want you to always refer to it as BUN and not BUN. Okay. And the reason for that is BUN stands for blood urea nitrogen. Okay. And our normal range for this for a healthy adult is about seven to 20 milligrams per deciliter. So like I said, it's always, always referred to it as BUN, blood urea nitrogen. And let's talk about what that means. Okay. Just those words, blood urea nitrogen, tell us what it is. Okay. So we talked about in our discussion of bilirubin that urea is the breakdown of ammonia, okay? So urea is formed from ammonia as an end product of protein metabolism. So we take protein in, or we have protein in our body, and that protein is broken down into ammonia, and urea is the nitrogenous kind of waste product of that ammonia. Okay, and so to get rid of that, we actually send that urea into the urine and, and we excrete it through our urine. Because of this, we use BUN to evaluate kidney function. Urea, nitrogen, will go to the kidneys and it will be excreted via the urine. If the kidneys are not functioning appropriately, then we'll see elevated levels of blood urea nitrogen. That's going to be the primary purpose of this lab is to evaluate kidney function. Are the kidneys able to get rid of what they need to get rid of? So some of the indications for this are going to be evaluate renal function and then then remember, uh, urea is a breakdown of ammonia, and and so we can use it also to evaluate liver function. We can also use it to evaluate hydration. So think of the blood. The blood is, is primarily water, okay? And so if we have less liquid, less water within our blood, we're gonna have a higher concentration of this uh, BUN. Okay, and so as we see a higher elevation of this BUN, that's that could be a result of lower water within the blood. So we'll just have basically a higher concentration of this solute. Okay, and that, that so if you think dehydration, you can think low fluid in the blood, low water in the blood, so we'll have a higher concentration of these particles of this of this solute, this BUN. And so you would see a higher level of the BUN. If you think another reason this could be elevated would be a high protein intake. So if we have a really high protein intake, we're going to have a higher uh, BUN as, as a result of the breakdown of these proteins. Okay, so that's really going to be indicated mostly for renal and liver function, but we could also use it to evaluate nutritional status as well as uh, dehydration, okay? And they can also be used to evaluate hemodialysis therapy. So a patient who's on hemodialysis will be allowed to live in a little bit higher range of BUN, well, a much higher range of BUN. And so when they go for dialysis, we're going to dialyze all their blood and we should see the BUN kind of come down, okay? So it can be really used to, to, to evaluate the treatment uh, with hemodialysis. So some of the reasons, we've already talked about some of the reasons that it's going to be elevated. Primarily, it's going to be elevated with decreased renal perfusion, uh, decreased renal function, like acute renal failure, glomerulonephritis. It can also be elevated with hypovolemia or dehydration, hyperalimentation or and more specifically, if we're taking in a lot of protein, it can be elevated with diabetes, it can be elevated with congestive heart failure. Some reasons that it could be decreased would be severe liver, liver disease, inadequate dietary protein. Okay, so those two make sense, right? If our liver is not working right, we're not going to be producing as much of this urea, and then we're going to see lower levels. And then also, obviously, if we're not taking in food, we're not taking in protein, we're going to see it lower. Critical values for this are going to be about 100 milligrams per deciliter. Remember, our high-end range for a healthy adult is going to be about 20. So if we get up to 100 in a healthy adult, that's going to be a critical value. Now, again, an uh, exception for this is going to be a patient who's receiving dialysis. We're going to allow them to be at a bit higher range, and those patients need to be evaluated by a nephrologist, a nutritionist, to determine what's a good range for this patient. Hopefully this helps you understand BUN a bit more. Remember, BUN, urea nitrogen, is going to be the nitrogenous kind of breakdown of protein metabolism. So protein comes in, broken down into ammonia, and that ammonia then is is broken down into urea nitrogen. That goes to the kidneys. We excrete it via our urine. So if our kidneys aren't working, we're going to see elevated levels. Um, If our liver isn't working appropriately, we're going to see low levels. And that's kind of how we can evaluate how kidneys, liver are working, what's our uh, overall nutritional status, what's our overall volume status. So normal levels for a healthy adult, about 7 to 20 milligrams per deciliter.